greetings from Earth. Specifically Camden, Tennessee. It's Saturday, it's beautiful, the wind is cool, the sun is warm, it's about 66 degrees. Uh, I'm in the parking lot of a church on a beautiful sunny day. So what better setting to visit sites of death and destruction? Yeah, probably not the best setting ever. Uh, I found this stuff pretty interesting. I hope you do too. So as I enjoy my Twix, why don't you join me to the left Twix? Right Twix? I don't know. I guess that depends on which end of the package you started at. Oh, no. Never mind. Let's just go. Uh oh. Copper. Whew. That was close. Wait a minute. I don't have any warrants. What am I worried about? Come on, green. And now. And now. Green. There we go. Man, folks, I'm going to tell you, that was a good Twix bar. They don't sponsor me or anything, but, uh, you know, they could. I can be bought, Twix, just so you know. Uh, the first site we're going to, for this little town in Camden, Tennessee, this is a probably one of the biggest tourist attractions around here. Another copper. Ooh, he's turning around. Oh, he got somebody else. <laughs> All right, we're on Mount Carmel Road right off 641. And this should take us all the way to the crash site. Uh, this little historic site, uh, actually one of the, for her time, she was one of the biggest country singers around. Uh, Patsy Klein, that's the name. Uh, she was in a plane crash here. A uh, lot of people go to this site every year. Uh, more than, I mean, it actually surprises me for this little town, this little, this little site. It's, I don't know, it just a lot of people must still love her. And, uh, I don't know, it's kind of neat. I wasn't alive for the crash, but uh, it was kind of a big thing. Back when I was younger, people would come by and just look. And basically at the time, it was just, uh, when I was younger, it was just kind of like a little sign on the side of the road, a little historical marker. You know, it was a really wooded area, and, but they really fixed it up and kind of made it nice. Uh, there's a little interactive, uh, I don't know, I guess a little kiosk, you would call it. Uh, at least I hope it still works. It was kind of uh, glitchy the last time I was here. But just a few things when you go past, you go past the city park and just keep going and you will unmistakably go by the landfill. That will be the only, uh, it's not really a turn. You have no choice but to turn. Still Mount Carmel Road. Uh, but when you get to the landfill, don't go straight. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. Oh wow, here we are, already. And you will see, see this little sign, and you see what I mean? Don't go straight. The road ends, and I think you drop off quite a bit. So, yeah. So if you look at the, uh, if you're ever familiar with the made-for-TV movie back in the 80s, maybe, maybe it was even 90s, but I think it was in the 80s, uh, they crashed into a in a snowstorm into a snow-covered mountaintop. Uh, not really. It was in March. It was right after a thunderstorm, and yeah, there's no mountaintop. I guess uh, crashing into a landfill was a, a lot less dramatic <laughs> than a uh, snow-covered mountaintop. Oh man, here's some. Uh, Areas they've cleared off. 
I really wanted to fly the drone today to kind of show you the basic track of the plane as it came in but it's too windy today way too windy especially up top uh, this house right here I'll let you know that was a relative of mine and they had said that when it happened they because they didn't know who it was but they did sit hear the plane sputtering and they could see the people in the windows the plane was so low as it came over their house and they didn't know that it had crashed but they just knew that it was in trouble and it went all the way on down here Uh, you'll go by a little pond here collapsed building you know from this collapsed building 600 feet and you will enter enter the memorial now i'll have to say patsy klein was pretty beloved for her time and i mean man what a voice you know i'm a metal head and i but i do like blues i like r&b i just like good music in general but uh I'm just gonna tell you man she could sing and a lot of people a lot of people visit this area as are doing right now you get here there's a historical marker kind of read it together uh, on March 5th 1963 at 30 years of age country singer Virginia Patterson Hensley better known as Patsy Cline along with her manager Randy Hughes and fellow Grand Ole Opry stars Haw Hawkshaw Hawkins <laughs> and Cowboy Copas were killed in a plane crash in Camden, Tennessee on their way home from a benefit concert in Kansas City, Missouri. Known for her smooth sounding emotive voice, Klein helped break down the gender barrier in the music genre. Uh, considered one of country music's greatest vocalists and yeah, I'll have to agree, she was really good. Klein was posthumously inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 1973. So, you know, if you, if you come down here too, uh, yeah, man, this is kind of a nice walking track. Uh, it's really easy going down. Uh, quite a bit harder going up. And as you see down there, now I don't know how true this is, but people, it said when they came down here after the crash that they'd seen hair in the trees and pieces of clothing is possible but i don't know about all that that may have been embellished a little this was a pretty wooded area i don't think they would have uh it's not like their bodies just exploded so I'm not sure that i believe that I do believe that it was a probably a very violent, horrific crash, though. I will say that uh, as low as they were, we know that there was a fire. That you just hope they died on impact, and not from thermal injuries. All right, but after a good little brisk walk, here we are. It does say silence beyond this point, but uh, yeah, I don't know if that's, that seems to be taking it a bit too far, but I mean, look at this. She died in 1963 and people still to this day are dropping flowers, angels, uh, coins. There's another little angel. I'm not sure if this is the exact site right here. It may have even been further on into the woods just a little bit. Possibly. Not sure. You can say it's pretty wooded. This may have been the exact site. I don't know why they put this big gigantic rock here. But I don't know. But it's kind of nice. Kind of a history a day in history a spot in history you can see man listen this is how quiet it is i can hear a car off and way off in the distance man it's 
you know, anytime you see a historical marker out, stop and look and see. I mean, this used to be out at the road, the historical marker. Now it's back down into the site. But, uh, you know, man, you never know what you're going to find. Uh, the next site that I'm going to go to was just, uh, my mind was blown by it. I mean, absolutely blown. Because... I guess maybe now, you know, as you younger people may not be taught about this guy so much. But when I was in school, we learned about him in history. Uh, there were all kinds of movies about this guy. And I won't say he's famous, more infamous, more evil. Was one of a uh, the key figures in the West and somehow he wound up here well I know why and how he wound up here but didn't know it till I was driving on a rainy day and just stopped at a historical marker because I was bored all right here's a you're gonna hear me breathing just as a just a little note I've already done this is a memory card that I had I've done this twice already this whole trip it's taken me forever today to film this because the camera kept shutting off and it kept corrupting the data I've got a new memory card tested it out it seems to be working fine so maybe it was just the memory card, but yeah, I'm tired. I'm fat. I'm tired. I'm old. I'm getting good exercise today. Now, I don't think I'm going to film my way out of here. I may cut the camera off till I get into town and then film all the way to the next historical site. I don't know that you want to see everything. I don't know. We'll see. One of the things, I think the camera got so hot that it may have ruined the, ruined the memory card. Ooh, man, I am huffing and puffing. And I don't think I could blow any houses down. There's my truck, by the way. Uh, any of you guys in the comments, I need help. I need a name for it. She's kind of old, but uh, man, I love that truck. Don't love the mirror so much, but man, I love the truck or the turning radius. Oh Lord, the turning radius. But otherwise, it's not a diesel. It's just a 5.7 Hemi in a three-quarter ton truck. But for a daily driver, it gets pretty decent gas mileage for a three-quarter ton truck. On the highway, whew, man, I'm winded. You don't know how much I've walked today to find out that I wasn't filming. <laughs> so, all right, let's hop in the truck get on our way to our next site uh, do not go out the way you came in go this way and there is a specific reason because see right there a car coming over there at 45 50 miles an hour and you're right there you don't stand a chance so they bring you way down here to come out so just a I guess I better put my seatbelt on or I'll be breaking laws wanna and now let me put my seatbelt on. All right. And you will see how bad the turning radius is on this thing. That's pretty. All right.
There's another copper. All right. There we go. today but they're out writing tickets you can hear that uh, fan I'll try to turn that off here a little bit I have a converter trying to charge up some batteries so I apologize for the noise I'm gonna try to do this like uh, Jay Utah. I don't know if any of you have ever seen any of his videos on YouTube. Uh, he pretty much either just straps a really nice camera to the hood of his car or maybe inside the car. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, he's got it on the outside of his car. He's got it where you can't hear the wind noise. It's really good. Probably has a microphone somewhere else. But uh, yeah, he just basically gives you a two hour video of him going somewhere the whole journey I guess I'll try to do that but you know, you're gonna have to listen to me just a little bit he does no commentary he is it a she a he I don't know but I do enjoy the videos I mean man you talk about uh, hypnotizing especially late at night uh, if I'm watching that it's just the engine noise and road noise and man, you talk about going to sleep quick. I can go to sleep to that stuff. But try going to sleep and listening to me. <laughs> I don't know, you might be able to pretty easy. I might be pretty boring. All right, so this next site, like I said, is uh, you know a very historic site as far as I'm concerned. I just can't believe that a bigger deal isn't made about it. Because I'll guarantee you that 90% of the people that live in this area never knew he was around here. And maybe even some of them don't know who he is. But like I said, I don't know that they necessarily teach about him in history anymore. I know when I went to school, which is back in the 70s, uh, which unfortunately I'm going to date myself here. Mainly because nobody else will date me. Hold for laugh. All right. No, I know that was corny. Uh, yeah, but back in the 70s, we learned a lot about him. And uh, it was one of the most infamous killers in the West. And I'm not going to say who it is. You may already just guessed it right then as soon as I said that. Would I say he was the most infamous killer? I bet, yeah, I think so. And 
waitress came by and asked them, you know, if they wanted some water, ready to order, and they said no water, no ice. They didn't want anything, <laughs> anything that had any of that water in it because they just tested the uh, groundwater. And <laughs> yikes, when, when the EPA is saying that, those guys wouldn't even drink the water, ain't even ice cubes. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I never have after that. Uh, I was drinking a glass of iced tea, and I was like, uh, yeah, what am I drinking? Now, it may have cleaned up. I know they've done some things, you know, to clean it up. You know, from one plant in particular, but I don't know how well that is. I don't know. Forever chemicals are forever, ain't they? Yeah. So that's just that being said, you everybody downs the EPA, but there's reasons we need the EPA because of greedy companies who don't care whether they give you cancer as long as they make money. If they can kill you, it doesn't matter. And that's why you need the EPA. I don't know about you. I want to keep living. I don't want cancer. But that being said, New Johnsonville overall is a very beautiful area. This whole area is beautiful. But man, once you get into Middle Tennessee, out of West Tennessee, West Tennessee, you know, slightly rolling hills, there's a lot of farmland. Well, it's the same thing in Middle Tennessee, but the hills get a little bigger. Uh, of course, you know, you start to work on over into the mountains. And it just seems like right at this river here, you can just tell everything gets just a little more hilly and it's just the scenery is more beautiful just the uh you can tell the difference in the trees from west tennessee to east tennessee uh, that probably won't make sense until you until you drive through it and just see that yeah it's different you think it's tennessee it's just trees but now there's something different just different you know different amounts of different trees grow in uh, Middle Tennessee than they do in, in West Tennessee. Somebody is uh, drowned, missing. No, I think he turned, went into a neighborhood. Yeah, I could use a little more sunshine right now. Earlier today, it was bearable, but now that wind, when I was. Uh, the last site was a little chilly. It may be quite chilly here where I go. 
I really hope that the uh, guy who owns the land of this site has the gate open. There's no trespassing signs around. So if he doesn't have it open, you can't get to it. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trespass on somebody's land. I'll see if I can get to where we can see the area, see what I'm after. Uh, you'll see when we get there. I'm not gonna divulge anything till we get there. try to I don't know how long this video is going to wind up being and how long y'all would actually stick around to watch but it may go on into Waverly Tennessee because I mean it gets really scenic and uh, down that way so I don't know if I don't know if you will actually stick around for that but I may I may film some going there and then coming back and whoo man whew, can't tell you how bad this stinks. It did not stink like this while ago. I think I know what I'm smelling too. Ooh. Man, wow, it is rancid. Man, I don't know what they turned up, but right here if you're going down Long Street which is the street we're on right here in New Johnsonville those are the sewage treatment ponds man man it is really really bad there's a walking track and a lady was just walking on her phone she's probably trying to keep her mind off the stench man it's bad oh I can't tell you how bad it is I just I wish you could smell this through the screen it is horrific Whew. I'm starting to get it's getting better now that little low area that air must have been a little heavy there so it all sunk down man oh that was terrible well I came through here twice already this morning it didn't smell like that uh, you will go past the Lakeview school by the way just so you know as you're going to this area I kind of wish this guy was out of my way so I could fly down this road and get to where I'm going. All right, guy. Way to listen to me. Thank you so much. We have a really nice side-by-side. -side. Holy cow. I'm jealous. I find a lot of people that see people like that that have a really nice truck, really nice side-by-side, -side, something, or just any kind of toy, and they get really mad at them. Why? That guy did better than you? Do better. I'm not mad. I'm proud for him. I wish I had it. But I don't need it. I'm just happy enough without it. This is kind of a little different thing for my channel. I mean, I used to do things like this when I first started. Then I got into video games and then got into fish, which kind of took off for a while. And it's not doing so well here lately. So I'm going to try this again just to see if it takes off. Maybe I'll start another channel where I just do this and then keep the fish on, on my main channel. Uh, here, hopefully pretty soon, I'm going to start building a fish room film that from beginning to end and give you some little how to's on it uh, but that's all going to depend on unfortunately family members help and finances which are kind of go hand in hand unfortunately you know how it is some days are diamond some days are stone you know just take each day one day at a time everybody uh, but you get down here, I guess I'll see you turn left. What is the name of this road? Thank you for everybody who's stolen all of the road signs. Every single one of them. 
but uh, this little area is known as Hustburg. H-U-S-T-B-U-R-G. Hustburg. I did say that right, didn't I? H-U-S-T-B-U-R-G. Uh, but to me, this is one of the most little, beautiful little communities. It's just small, you know, everybody's still close, even though it's out in the country. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I've talked a lot today, folks, so I imagine my voice is going to go out here for too long. Yeah, as you can see it on the Hustberg Church of Christ. <clears throat> There's beautiful fields. I think there's some beautiful fields on down here. That would have been really nice to fly the drone through that. Might could low. But I don't know, man. That wind is whipping right now. I hope when I'm out that there's not a lot of wind noise on the camera. You can see you're going to go down here. Really out of Camden, this thing is maybe 15 minutes out of Camden. Maybe. <clears throat> but as you're going and enjoy the scenery good thing just get out and see the world for a little bit and just relax man a, a drive where you don't even know where you're going you're just seeing stuff you no know, no agenda no schedule no anything you just drive and just enjoy the scenery and you don't know how much how relaxing that is and how much stress it just takes off of you oh man Look at this coming up here. Oh, not as beautiful as I thought. Still kind of beautiful. too far from this site well, like I said what a total surprise oh man yeah there you go I should know where all these are see look at that man it's so beautiful you don't get that in the city man screw your city living screw the concrete jungle and give me an open field any day because I grew up in the country I know anywhere you live is home and that's where you're comfortable but man you just got to admit being out here is just nice don't have to worry about so many of the problems of the city <clears throat> I've been in the city it's just not for me I like visiting I do like that I don't like living there Should be getting pretty close. I do think this is it, isn't it? Yep. Alright, does he have the gate open? The gate is open. Alright. I finally parked and I guess it's time for the reveal of the site. So here it is. Jesse James. In August 1877, Jesse James, the notorious outlaw, moved to this site from Missouri and rented a farm from MB Link. Using the assumed name of J.D. Howard, he engaged in farming and horse racing. He entered one of his horses, Red Fox, in local races and won several competitions while living here with his wife. Z gave birth to twin boys, Gold and Montgomery, who lived only a few days and were buried on this site. In 1879, Jesse and his family moved to Nashville. So on this site are the graves of his two children, just buried in this field. Jesse James, who was a notorious train robber and bank robber, shot all of his victims in the back. 
lived here. You know, what's not known about this is, you know, I know he moved to uh, avoid being hung, avoid being shot by other gang members, uh, people who were out for his blood. But I just wonder when he got here, you know, how much, how much love for life? You know that he didn't have much, uh, much love for anybody else's life. Now, did he have love for his life? I mean, he got married, had children. You know, I don't know. I don't know how he spent his life here. Was it just a, a ruse to keep people from uh, finding him or discovering who he was? Or was it, uh, did he kind of have a change of heart? I know a lot of times children will do that, but to a... Uh, Guy who killed a lot of people, I just don't know. All right, when you come here, there's a sign to the graves right down here. This is kind of neat. So why isn't this, uh, this should be more of a historical site than what it is. It's just a, I don't know. I know he wasn't, uh, you know, definitely wasn't a king or a president, but and for what he was known for, it's pretty horrific and pretty barbaric. But still, man, that's what a piece of American history that is. And whether you like it or not, I mean, he was a key figure in American history. So who would have known? Gold and Monty, sons of Jesse James, of 1878. Wow. So who knows? Wonder if the cause of death was they were shot in the back? No, probably not. This was 1878. Huh? Medicine was not very good then. Well, who knows? What'd really be nice to know is what was wrong with them. And they have birth defects or just don't know. Was the mother's milk bad? As they say sometimes. Try not to be too funny, I guess. But yeah. So who would have thought that? Here in Middle Tennessee, one of the most notorious killers in all the West and in all of America actually just moved here under an assumed name and just lived his life you know there's so much in the West you know there's so many sites about uh, Billy the Kid and they make such a to do over it and you know people love to come here love you know too bad you didn't have a some kind of a at least a painting or anything to depict what the house looked like. You could build a replica and kind of have a little small museum. Like again, I know he was a killer, but that's American history though. It's incredible. So who would have thought that? I wouldn't. Some of you may be going like, yeah, well, so what? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just because I learned so much about them when I was in school and all the movies. And just to know that he lived here, he's probably stepped right here where I was. Probably sat and looked over what I'm assuming was a trail back in the day. Or was it? Maybe this was just a field. Who knows? This could have been his driveway. But yeah. I mean, wow. Just history's all around us. You know, just driving down a country road one day, I find that to me is quite amazing. So I, I just wish all of you would get out there and, uh, man, just explore. Even if you just walk down the street or just drive somewhere, 
take a Sunday drive. That's what everybody used to do. Get out on a Sunday and just drive. Nowhere to really go. Just go somewhere. Doesn't have to be anywhere. Don't have to do anything but just drive and just enjoy the scenery. Man, you talk about how much better I think this world would be if we just did that. Instead of being at each other's throats over everything. So, yeah. But, man, that's uh, maybe where I'm going to end the video right here. So, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know. That's so interesting. There's so many interesting things out there and interesting facts, and it just slap you in the face sometimes. You just never see them coming. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to try to do that more with some videos and just get out and go through different historical markers. I mean, I know so many of them are just benign history that nobody's really interested in but like that one. one of the most notorious killers in american history right here these kids are here maybe i should find out where jesse james is buried maybe that'd be a good video to go to i don't know but guys i think i'm going to end the video here and uh i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you did one way or the other you know i would really love some feedback but uh man Please like and subscribe. It would really help me out. And uh, any good feedback on the video would be much appreciated. And uh, we'll see you around.